Thank you for viewing our training video for the ABM 100. We're very proud to have launched the first smartphone anemometer for the HVAC industry. This video is intended to help you understand the overall operation of the airflow bouncing meter. For more advanced instructions, please visit our website at www.airflowbalancing.com. We started our company with the development of our automatic bouncing valves and automatic bouncing registers. Products similar to the ABVs and ABRs are prevalent in Europe and starting to gain a lot of traction with national hotel chains and multifamily applications here in North America. Once the industry fully understands the advantages of automatic balancing, this technology will become the standard for automatically balancing all of the grills and registers worldwide. To complement our automatic balancing products, we are developing a line of smartphone-based HVAC tools designed to make the application of building science techniques simple and practical for all HVAC professionals. The first tool we launched in May of 2014 was the ABM 100, the industry's first smartphone anemometer. The industry's response to this product far exceeded our greatest expectations. The next smartphone tool coming to market in September is the APM 200, the air pressure meter the first ever smartphone manometer. This tool will have features included into it that will shape the HVAC industry forever. In our air pressure meter, we'll utilize extremely precise and robust electronic pressure sensors from the aerospace industry. Anemometers are excellent tools when they are used properly. Unfortunately, they are rarely used properly. When in the field, it's difficult to remember all the formulas to enter into a calculator to remember to account for the AK factor or free space of a grill, or for that matter, to store your readings and make comments at each location. Most traditional handheld anemometers only have three or four buttons at most, and they are difficult and impossible to store data, share data, and most importantly, send data from. We have overcome all these challenges with the ABM 100 airflow bouncing meter, the industry's first smartphone anemometer. The ABM 100 utilizes the powerful processing power of smartphones to remember formulas and algorithms so you don't have to. The moment an HVAC professional uses a smartphone tool to diagnose issues with a customer system, a great impression is established. By taking before and after readings and sending them to a customer, a technician can provide detailed information showing the work that was performed and reduce the number of callbacks. The ABM 100 is small enough to fit in your pocket or tool belt, yet useful enough to be the most powerful tool in your arsenal. The retail price of the ABM 100 is only $49.95, yet it is one of the most accurate anemometers on the market. It was calibrated at the University of Florida's Aerospace Lab to be accurate to within one half of 1% at up to 15 degrees off axis. We're able to keep the cost low by utilizing the display and processor in your smartphone rather than needing to include it in our tool. The ABM 100 also comes in a convenient carrying case that will fit into a smartphone toolbox we are currently developing. The ABM 100 is fully compatible with both Apple and Android phones. The free app can be downloaded directly from the Apple iTunes Store or the Google Play Market. Links to the downloads can also be found in several locations on our website at airflowbouncing.com. The app is verified to work with all iPhones, iPads, and iTouch iPods that have a microphone. The app is also verified to work with all major Android phones, and a list of verified phones is on our website. The first time, and only the first time the app is loaded, a splash screen is displayed showing the placement of the meter in the center of the grill. For even greater accuracy, instructions for taking traverse readings are on our website. We are also producing an instructional video titled Traversing a Grill with the ABM 100. If the app is started without our meter connected to a smartphone, a warning will be displayed letting the user know the meter is not plugged in and offer the opportunity to find a distributor to purchase the meter on our website. The first time you use the ABM 100, we suggest entering your company name, choosing the measurements between standard or metric, and enter your email address to send history logs to. There will be an opportunity later to send history reports directly to customers or third parties. 
Below that, you have the opportunity to manually adjust the free space or AK factor when a grill is in place. This is important because the more the airflow is restricted, the air faster the airflow velocity will be. It's similar to placing your finger over a water hose to shoot water out faster or further. The app also has algorithms that automatically adjust for the volume based on these restrictions. The AK factor is typically available on the grill manufacturer's data sheets. If this information is not available, clicking on the support button on our app will take you to a section of our website that has some averages and methods for approximating grills based on the type of grill. Once you choose take a reading from the main menu, you are ready to start taking measurements. You will then choose the type of duct you are measuring, rectangular or round. You will also be reminded on the screen to identify if a grill is in place or not. If you say yes, the AK factor or manual adjustment value entered in the settings will be applied. After you choose the duct type, you will have the opportunity to enter a description for the room or area you are measuring and enter the dimension of the duct. Then hold the meter up to the grill first and then press start. If you can't see the start button because the keypad is covering it, just pull down the keypad in a swiping motion. We recommend letting the test run for the full 30 seconds if possible to get the most accurate reading. But you may stop the test at any point by hitting the stop button. One of the biggest advantages of the smartphone processor is getting a real-time readout of both volume and velocity. Once the test is complete, you have the option of choosing whether the location was supply or exhaust, or return, and you can enter comments to be stored in the history log by choosing Add a Description. Under the Description section, you can store notes about the readings, such as the airflow is too high or too low. You can also identify maintenance needs, such as the grill is broken, or you can see debris in the duct. After you have added the optional description, or comment, you can save the reading to the history log or delete it to retake the measurement. Throughout the app, you can access the history screen by clicking on the green button in the top left corner of the app. From the history screen, you can select readings to keep in the report or which readings to delete by choosing the edit function. We recommend emailing yourself complete history logs at the end of each job or project, and then choose delete all at the beginning of the next project. Once you choose the export function, you will be given the opportunity to send the report to yourself automatically, or you can send it directly to a customer's email address at this point. We recommend entering a job or project name in the subject line of the exported email. This report is transmitted in a professional looking HTML format that looks great by itself, or can be easily be copied and pasted into programs such as Word, Excel or PowerPoint to give the opportunity to customize the data. Our meters rely on headphone power to power the internal circuit boards. So if the meter is not working, the volume is too low or another app or the operating system has grabbed the audio channel. This can happen when you receive a phone call while taking a reading. If this does occur, please follow the following troubleshooting steps. First, turn up the headset volume. If that doesn't work, close the app completely. Don't just minimize it, close it completely and then reopen it. If that doesn't work, check the settings in your phone to see if the volume limiter is turned on. Under settings and music for the iPhones, you'll find a section called volume limiter. Make sure this is set to the off position. The fourth troubleshooting step, if that doesn't work, is to restart your phone. If that doesn't work, Reinstall the app. Delete the app from your phone and reinstall the app. If that doesn't work, please contact the factory for more further support or to replace the unit. For more information, please visit the ABM and support pages on our website at airflowbalancing.com. Thank you.